have this very autumnal, dark, grungy, I don't even know, like, it's, it's definitely dark, but it actually looks wearable. Not sure about that, but anyways. Today's kind of like a full glam look, but I'm trying and testing out some new bits that were sent to me. Like, seriously, like, when I tried all the products, I'm really, really happy with them. There wasn't really one that disappointed me. Like, they're all good. They're all good. Like, my favourite was the bronzer, the blush highlight i had tons of fun creating this look for you guys um so i'm just gonna stop rambling and we'll just jump straight into this video okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is just use some color corrector i'm gonna use my la girl pro conceal hd corrector i never know how to call these i'm just gonna say pro corrector in orange This one, my pigmentation is going, look at this side. I mean, this side is struggling a little bit, but I used to have like a white mark here, but now it's just like evening out. It's just this, this bit here that's very stubborn. Make sure to check my pigmentation video. I'll link it in your box. So I'm very lucky to have Charlotte Tilbury send me some products. Um, they sent me the Magic Foundation and the Light Wonder. Um, if you guys haven't watched my um, vlog, my my most recent vlog, I they actually invited me into um, their Westfield Wonderland, Beauty Wonderland, and um, they basically did like a makeover on me, and I tried their like whole range, and they were kind enough to send me some bits. So today I'll be using the Light Wonder. This is the one I wore on the day. I mean, I haven't applied it or used it myself. Um, I will be keeping the Magic Foundation for another video. I'll do a review first impression on it because I haven't really tried it. But before I go on to my foundation, I'm going to use the Unisex Healthy Glow. You can apply this on its own or on top of your moisturizer. I already have my moisturizer done. I mean, I've done my... Um, corrector but i'll just avoid that area this is what it looks like i mean charlotte tilbury packaging is to die for like that's stunning anyways i'm gonna put this all over it has a it has a slight tint to it it comes out like this grayish color but then once you work it in it because it has like a slight tint to it that glow so onto foundation this is what the packaging looks like and I had number eight medium and nine dark unfortunately like I have to mix the two nine is too dark and eight is too light so I have to mix the two which is a shame but I don't mind mixing again look at the packaging oh my goodness I love this so this is number eight and that's number nine so those are the two together so I'm going to mix the two in my hand this foundation says that it's a youth boosting perfect skin foundation with SPF 15 blend a small amount onto your skin from the nose outwards for more flawless glowing finish put on top of areas where extra coverage is needed using a brush and it does say to shake before use so those are the two colors this is eight this is nine if i put that like if i show you i could get away with eight actually but can you see i feel like i can see it if i can see it i that's not like if you just look you just see this light section so i like to mix a tad bit of the the number nine just for a bit of warmth you know that's a bit better for me i'm going to use my real techniques expert face brush and just like pat it in look oh look how glowy i am I did put more of number nine around my mouth area to avoid like ashiness. So, so far, I did wear this all day and this foundation stays on really nicely. Um, and like, it's just like so natural and like skin like, and but it gives you that natural coverage. It's so weird, like, it, it doesn't look fake, it doesn't look cakey, it just looks really natural, naturally flawless basically. I'm gonna move on to my eyes before I go on to like the rest of my skin because I am doing a bit of a like a dark look today. 
So I'm just going to put some of my Tarte Shape Tape. You guys know the drill. This is Tan Sand. So for my eyes today, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. This is, look at the packaging. Like This is so sturdy. So this is what the palette looks like. I don't really have a palette that looks like this, so I'm like, I really wanted to try this one. So I'm going to first go in with this colour here. That shade is called Combust. Set that in. I'm then going to use this shade right here. That is called Password. I really want to like build this colour up. I've actually been like watching Nikki tutorials. Nikki tutorials. Like seriously, she has like the best techniques. So basically what I'm doing is I'm first like grabbing like a dense brush and just like packing that password colour on first, whatever I want it to be. And then I'm just grabbing like a small fluffy brush and you just like need to like take your time and just blend the edges with like darker looks I just like to take my time because I don't want to mess it now I'm just gonna go in with this color called black market I think this is like a metallic kind of maroon not maroon navy so with this, I'm just going to take a flat shader brush. So that's just like one swipe. It does have a slight sheen to it. I have nothing to say about the pigmentation. Oh my god that looks stunning i'm gonna use my la girl eyeliner i'm then gonna take this lighter shade in the palette which is called 13 and i'm just gonna like highlight my brow bone so I curl my lashes and I'm going to be applying some red cherry lashes. This is the wispy style. I did apply a quick coat of mascara already so I'm just going to apply these on. I'll be right back. Okay so I'm just letting my lashes dry. I don't know if I should have gone for more dramatic lashes but I wanted to try these out. So back onto the skin I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer underneath I'm running out but I did buy a new one I'm just baking with my LA Girl banana powder. This is what it looks like. So now onto my skin, I was sent some bits from the new Kiko um, Fall range. I was sent their big, huge bronzer. This is in the shade Warm Melange. I don't know if this is going to be the right shade. But yeah, this is their baked bronzer. Packaging. I have to give it to them on the packaging. And this is what it looks like. It's huge. It's like this, almost the size of my face. Well, half the size of my face. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to see. I don't think it's going to be dark enough, but we shall see. Wait. Oh my god, it smells like chocolate. 
It legit smells like chocolate. That is pretty. Oh my god, I didn't think this was gonna show up on me. I mean, there is a ton of fallout when you swirl in it. But that doesn't bother me. As long as the product looks good, that's all counts to me. And it smells amazing. I just want to eat it. Under eyes are looking flawless. Kiko, I'm super impressed with your bronzer. It smells amazing. It smells like Christmas chocolate. So I was sent this blusher from, this is a brand called Diego Dalla Palma. And this is a toffee rose blush. It comes in a little pot like this and it does look very bright. I feel like this, I could eat it, but let's not go there. Um, I have used powder though, but You can definitely go more heavy handed with it. It does blend it very easily. Put a bit more. Just on the apples. That is so pretty. Mm. I don't even know what if this is like drugstore or not. I will definitely like leave prices and links in the info box. Oh my god, I love that bronzer. I can literally smell it on my face. But it's not like overpowering, it's just like a nice like balance of chocolatey, Christmassy. Oh my god, I just miss Christmas now. Okay, now onto the exciting, exciting part. I'm gonna be using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. This is a cult. Like I just, I'm just looking at it and I'm just like, Anushka, why have you not tried this till now? Or oh, looks like liquid in the pot. Why have I not tried this yet? Well, now I should be going out today. I don't know, that is stunning guys, like it looks wet. Okay, that's a huge thumbs up for me. I, think I should go with a dark lip. I think I'm gonna go with a dark lip because I was sent this new Too Faced liquid latex, melted latex lipstick. Uh, it's called, it's basically a high shine lipstick and this is like a really dark color, it's called Bite Me. This is what it looks like. I don't know if it's gonna go with a blue, but we'll try it. If not, I'll take it off. I need to fix my under eyes as well, so need to do that. I mean it actually could go with the blue. It's definitely high shine. This is what the applicator looks like and it has this little dent in it and I feel like my lip fits perfectly in that dent and it, the application is just so precise. This is reminding me of guava, like literally. Considering I didn't use a liner, that applied like a dream. I feel like I'm ready for autumn, literally. Oh my god, that literally feels so comfortable. And finally, I'm going to use the Laura... Gela Spackle Mist. I've heard so many things about this setting spray. It says hold bottle 8 to 10 inch away from the face, mist lightly, apply before makeup to prime skin, after to set your look or anytime throughout the day for an instant refresh. Yeah, this is oil free so you can spray it over the eyes. of this hair this hair that's been giving me trouble so that's the finished look guys i really hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up because we managed to get through this video without one fly bugging me 
Do you know what I like about this lipstick? It doesn't give that light. You know when you put matte dark liquid lipsticks? The line instantly stops and I look, literally look like I have a bum hole, baboon's bum on my mouth. But with this, it just looks natural. Like it's not like that huge instant line, you know? Anyways, um, I'm gonna stop talking about, I don't even know baboon's bum. Like how did it even get to that conversation? But anyways. I did also want to mention that I'm so close to 50,000 subscribers, um, I'm kind of like putting stuff together for a little giveaway for you guys. So I wanted to ask you guys to please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, also ask like your friends, family, anyone, brothers, sisters, cousins, uncles, aunties, mums, dads, whoever, um, please ask them to subscribe as well. Even if they don't like makeup, show some love, show some loving. But anyways, like 50,000 subscribers is a huge, huge, huge milestone for me. So yeah, I'm just so excited and I feel like we're just like growing as a family and I was just, it just warms my heart up. So anyways, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new, join the family. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video next week. Bye.